I'm happy because we are talking about blessing. I love blessing and I know that you love blessing. The blessing of God. Not the blessing of your father. Not the blessing of your mother. Even though they also have the blessing. Not the blessing of your friends. We are talking about the blessing of God. The blessing that comes from God. Praise be to Jesus. That is the blessing we are so talking about. So dear visitors in our midst, we always have a theme. We are following for a certain number of weeks. So now this month, we are talking about the blessings from God. The first week we have seen that the real blessing is the blessing that comes from God that we have received through Jesus Christ. And the that is why whether you're a visitor whether you're just passing by or a member of the church I just want to encourage you to open up your heart to Jesus because that's where all the blessings come from yes, praise be to Jesus so the second week we saw that uh, the blessing you have to enjoy the first the biggest above Jesus Christ is what you have. What you have currently. What you have. 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 Don't despise it. Whether it is peace that you have, whether you have hands that are still active, whether you or legs are still moving whether you're a farmer or a businessman if the seed you have is the one of teaching whatever seed you have that thing that you have that thing that you have thank God for it praise be to Jesus so that's where we are today dear visitors so now today we are going to continue speaking about God's blessing the blessing of God is irrevocable say amen say amen say amen let us read I'm going to read First Chronicles, chapter 17, verse 26 and 27. So we're reading in Kinyarwanda and now we're reading in English. Kandi no nui teka, ni wawe mana usezira ni jumugaragu wawe ilijo jambori gizi. Ukishi miragu hinzu yu mugaragu wawe umujisha igahoraho imbere ya witeka ryose kuko ari wowe witeka uyihaye umugisha izahora no mugisha iteka ryose amen the bible says and now lord you are god and you have promised this goodness to your servant now you have been pleased to bless the house of your servant that it may continue before you forever for you have blessed it o lord and it shall be blessed forever abefeso it is written in Ephesians chapter 1. Uh, we read uh, just three verses. Imana yumwami wacu Yesu Kristo ariyo nase ishimwe. Kuko yaduhereye muri Kristo imigisha yose. Imigisha yose. Imigisha yose y'umwuka yo mu ijuru. Nkuko yadutoranirije Muri 
ikora byose nkuko ibishaka mu mutima wayo imana ishimwe cyane we read verse 3 and 4 and 11 the bible says blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in christ just as he chose us in the in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love verse 11 in him also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will amen Amen. 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 Say amen. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. The word of God is the image of the reflection of God. The word of God it's powerful. The word of God it is very powerful. The word of God it heals you. It heals me. The word of God it gives you a way. Teaching teaching just like we are doing it in Omega Church currently. this year we have decided to become disciples of Jesus so the knowledge are increasing in knowledge getting to know God is the way for God to give you what he wants to give you let me repeat this uh, you might uh, have enough of learning but you know when you're learning when you're in a classroom and learning you can be bored at some point but the day you get a degree and you have a job and you eat the money <laughs> clap for Jesus for that day you even forget all the pain of studying so love to learn and to study the word of God. Learn to know God. Love to know God and his ways, his ways of doing. Why do I say this? I am sure that God wants to bless someone. I don't doubt about that. No doubt. There is a person God wants to position properly and to give him the blessing that comes from him. Praise be to Jesus for that. So we read in the book of Chronicles, the first book of Chronicles, chapter 17. Uh, we didn't read all the stories, so let me just give you a recap. David, David the king of Israel, you know that he used to be a shepherd at some point in And you know that he was the last born in his family taking care of his father's sheep. And you know that he grew up there. And that is the work he was doing. I know you know that story better than I do of everything he faced. That time. So that life he lived, he took him, and one day, it took him. Uh, with the help of his father, it took him to a giant called Goliath. And he uh, cut the head of Goliath. And by doing that, he had given deliverance to the whole Israel. And he had delivered the king by the same action, the king who was afraid. David he remembered uh, talking to the king Saul he said I'm coming from somewhere don't be afraid of this giant I'm going to face him and the king asked him tell me how you're going to do that and David told him I'm coming from a certain background he said I didn't start today tell your neighbor I didn't start today it is it's not today that I've been in Christ. So David told him, it is not today. I'm coming from some place. There is a place I'm coming from. And uh, the lion and the bear, I didn't forget about that. I did not forget about that. You know all the story. And David did something that will never be forgotten. That David we are talking about, when we move forward, 
nguzu zinaujunyura he went through lots of wars just like you do kuko ize zinanditse zari nyinshi you know because all his battles are recorded so there were many in hamara zose dawidi anyuzemo nkawe uwiteka razimukijije and all the battles that david went through the ndagira ngo yushimire imana gukiza intambara zose so i want you to thank god who delivered you from gutabara mu ntambara witano nizikomeye wanyura never forget the lord who rescues you from the small and big battles that you might go through kuko ni wa mugisha wa mbere kugira yesu because that is the first blessing of having no gutabarwa no witeka it is being rescued by god dawidi yurero so this david we're talking about umunsi umwarakira one day he was delivered ava muri rya shamba he came from that forest he was into ageze ibwami and then he came to the king's palace and not just being a king he found himself in a wonderful palace and david remembered that, that god who took him there the way his worship the way people call upon him where people call upon that god it was unpleasing to him hallelujah hallelujah david said said where i am today, way, the person i am today i know he who has done that but he has something that is on my Uyun heart that is a concern for me the one who brought me so far, the one who has rescued me umgami. the one who made me to be a king, he has something a concern on his heart that i want to address that. he has a concern that i want to address he said the ark of the covenant is always on the move hallelujah hallelujah David atekereza neza so David had a noble thought mukundwa ju tekerereza neza imana i want you to have noble thoughts for god abivuga so why he was saying that, Nathan. he expressed it to the prophet Nathan Nathan yaru muno w'imana Nathan he was a man of god abibwira Nathan so he shared it with Nathan ati niyo mpamvu and he said that is the reason why when i remember where i'm coming from when i remember everything i want iyo nibutse gutabarwa when i remember the rescue from god numva ntarekera I don't feel like I should no stop. Never stop or friend no Never stop there. When you remember everything God has done for you. No never stop there. Dawidi. So David. We learn from him that he didn't stop there. And he said I want to build ndashaka kubakira ingoro imana yanjye I want to build a temple for my God Ndiye kubakira imana yanjye ingoro I'm going to build a temple for my God Tekare ndabikora And I'm going to do it Wa muhanuzi w'Imana That prophet of God David he really emphasized that he was a man of God Because he used to come and give him messages from God Arabagirati uko mbireba And he say as I can see Ukomeze muri iki gihe The way you are in these days Uri mu mwoko Yo in the spirit Aturi mu mwoka said you're in the spirit Kuvuri mu mwoka Now since you're in the spirit Genda ukore ibikuri ku mutima byose Go and do everything that is on your heart Uwo no muhanuzi That is the prophet Dawid araji Now David was Baje tandukana When they had just parted Oh we take The Lord came Abwira Nathan And he spoke to Nathan Nathan we beshe Nathan you got it wrong Biri abintu wabwiye Dawid si so What you told David is not right Nta bwari cyo namuhamagariye It is not what I have called Namuhamagariye kurwana intambara zanje I have called him to fight my battles Si uzanyo bakirinzwe He is not the one who is going to build my si temple we. He is not the Subira one umubwire. So go back and tell him Ajiye kumubwira when he went back to tell him yamubwiye amagambo none ho yamuhaye amasezerano ya Dawidi ubwe nabana yabzaye mu nda ye haleluya he gave him promises for David and for, for his children Dawidi yashotoye imana David he had uh, touched God in a way Dawidi yashotoye imana da, David he had touched God mwene data ndakwifuriza je utekereza byiza ku imana uyishotore I want you to cause God to think about you ntacyo mubyumvaho it doesn't mean anything to you mukikunde nicyo mvuze I mean don't be selfish Yotekereza byiza uzagirira Imana ari. Don't be self-centered. Think about the good things you're going to do for God. Imana irazira mubwira. Now God came and him. He gave him promises for his descendants for his house. And that's where we see David being satisfied. And he said, "Who am I?" Uretse no kugira ngo Imana imbwire ibintu byiza. Not only God speaks good things to me. Imbwiye no kubana banje. But he also spoke about my descendants. Imbwiye ko no mu bihe bizazo nabyaye munda ari uzazunga 
Zipporah. And he said that the one who comes from my lineage is the one who is going to inherit. Who am I? Who am I? That and he thought about where he was coming from. And he thought about all his background. And he saw the promises. But God was not talking about Solomon only. You know that Jesus comes from the lineage of Judah. And he said, all the time you, your descendants will be there, there will always be one of your descendants on your throne. And he was referring to Jesus in that yes, prophecy. Praise be to Jesus. Now we see that David speaking. We say, I'm so happy. And what pleases me is that the words of blessing you have talked about, I am receiving them. Those words are very good. And I know that when you give me a blessing, that blessing no one will take away from me from it. Now, because I have talked about David's blessings and not your blessing, you're not clapping. But you need to relate to those persons in the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is David still alive? <laughs> Do you think David is still alive? De Nathan, he has left long ago. Today we are talking about you and I. Ephesians chapter 1. The Bible told us that in Christ we have received every spiritual blessing. In Christ we have received an inheritance. Check the hand of your neighbor and tell them be firm, be steadfast on that blessing you received in Jesus. Be steadfast in the blessing you received Hallelujah. in Jesus. Hallelujah. That is where we are heading to. There is an inheritance in Jesus that will never be taken away from you. There is an inheritance that will never be taken away. And that inheritance that David mentioned long ago he said since you are the one who gave it to me no one is going to take it from me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to believe in the words of God. Don't want the world to shake for you to believe in God. Say, I have a blessing that is irrevocable in Jesus. I have every spiritual blessing in Jesus Christ. And where I am today is because of Jesus. And the person I am today is because of Jesus. And I'm still continuing because of Jesus. Because what Jesus has given me is, is irrevocable. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. It is for you to receive that. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, Mama. The blessing that the Lord gives, it brings riches as well. And He doesn't add sorrow to that. That's how it is. It's possible that you might be expecting certain things. There are things you have not yet seen. But the most important is that the blessing that God has given you it is found in Jesus Christ. And in Him, He has given you everything. And no one will ever take it from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. David, he pleased me. Just keep those words. And I want you to have an investment. David had an investment. David, there was something he knew about his God. I'm talking about the blessing the blessing that you work for. I'm talking about the blessing that you can work for. I'm talking about the blessing of good thoughts and initiatives for God. I'm talking about the blessing of gratitude, gratefulness to God who has brought you this far. A grateful heart. A grateful heart. It attracts God. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bene data umutimushima. Indeed a grateful heart. Umutimunyurwa. A heart that is content. Umutimushima imana. A heart that is thankful to God. Umutimuvuga kuti byari byo byose wakoze. A heart that says you have that grace. Umutimushima. A heart that is grateful. Umutima wibuka uturuka. A heart that remembers where it comes from. Ukururima. It attracts God. Ukururima. It attracts God. Nibyo tari wabona. And even things you have not yet received. It comes and comes after and say all the things that were waiting. I'm going to tell you everything that was waiting to come. Just thank God. Thank God. Thank what God has done for you. Check yourself and say I live because of Jesus. I live because of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You do not live because the devil loves you. What's your relationship? <laughs> you know uh, the, the 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 hen and the ra the, the raven. You live because of the inheritance you have received. And I really wish that you might seek Jesus with all your heart. Hallelujah. 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 David. David. He said. Say, who am I? Where I am today? What can I do for him? What can I do for him? And he got that and word in heaven. heaven. And he said, in heaven, in earth, there is someone who is thankful. On earth, there is someone who is thankful. On earth, there is someone who is thankful for what I have done. Say, now I'm going to bring everything that I had in store for him. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Thank God. Shimimana. Tima wanji. Shimimana. Wakuwa tu ye. Shimimana. Weruda he muka. Mera ye samashi. Bohoka. Be set free. Bohoka. Be set free. Shimimana. And thank God. Shimimana. Thank God. Thank God. All the blessings that are in Christ Jesus. They're for you and for me. They are ours. You have not yet seen it. You're still crying. But I tell you that the best is yet to come. Hallelujah. Thank God. Let us read. We're going to read in the book of Numbers. Uh, the story of Balaam and Balak. The story that tells us about curse and blessing. May God help us to be set free. And to understand for us who are in Christ Jesus if they can be curses. Those things they speak about you. All those curses. Beloved, we need to know the truth. When we are blessed enough to be talking about the blessing, let us go through everything. You know, the things we believe as children of God. Listen to me. May the Holy Spirit help me. The Israelites were blessed Uzarigatabatugosebose, Abobanu, kuko bandusha maboko. Ahari nzabanesha tubatsinde. 
mbirukane mu gihugu kuko nzi yuko uhesha umugisha awuhabwa uvuma akaba ikivume abakuru bimo wabo nabe midiani bagenda bafite ingemu bagera kuri baramu bamubwira ubutumwa bwa baraki arababwira ati ni mumare hano iri joro nzababwira ibyo uwiteka ari bubumbwire abatware bimo wabo barara kwa baramu imana izaho baramu ari iramubaza iti aba bantu muri kumwe nyabahi baramu arasubiza ati ni baraki mwene sipori umwami wa mawabu yantumyeho ngo dore abantu bavuye muri egiputa bajimagije igihugu ati ngwino ubamvumire ahari nzashobora kubarwanya mbirukane imana ibwira baramu ati ntujyane nabo ntuvuma abo bantu kuko bahawe umuti haleluya Chumi na kari nungui. Verse 17. Chumi na gata na chumi ni chenda. You read for in English. 16 to 19. Mchini ya rwanda tuwanze. Hanyo wa mchua njereza. Baja kwa kumu. Bala mungu gira bati. Bala ki mgeni sipori. Ngo ni hajiri chikubuza kumu itabu. Kuko aza hagu shira hejru. Aka guhichuba hilo chinchi chane. Kani ngo icho uza mungu gira chos. Chos. Aza hachi gukorele. No ni ngo nguinu. Ala kuinjins umuvumire abobano. Baramu asubiza abagaragu babaraki ati na baraki ya mefeza ni zahabu ubyuzu inzuye sinabasha gukora ibitandukana n'itegeko ry'uwiteka imana yanjye ngo ndirenze cyangwa ndigabanye none ndabinginze namwe murare hano <laughs> iri joro menye cyo uwiteka ari bwongere kumbwira ibaze nawe <laughs> mu cyongereza uh, let us read uh, read from verse 1. Uh, the Bible says, Then the children of Israel moved and camped in the plains of Moab on the side of the Jordan across from Jericho. Now Balak, the son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites, and Moab was exceedingly afraid of the people because there were many, and Moab was sick with dread because of the children of Israel. So Moab said to the elders of Midian, Now this company will lick up everything around us as an ox leaks up the grass of the field. And Balak, the son of Zippor, was king of the Moabites at that time. Then he sent messengers to Balaam, the son of Beor at Petor, which is near the river in the land of the sons of his people, to call him, saying, Look, a people has come from Egypt. See, they cover the face of the earth and are settling next to me. Therefore, please come at once and curse these people for me, for they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land, for I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. So the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the diviner's fee in their hand, and they came to Balaam and spoke to him the words of Balak. And he said to them, Lord, here tonight, and I will bring back word to you as the Lord speaks to me. So the princess of Moab stayed with Balaam. Then God came to Balaam and said, Who are these men with with you. So Balaam said to God, Balak the Z son of Zippo, king of Moab, has sent to me saying, look, a people has come out of Egypt. They cover the face of the earth. Come now, curse them for me. Perhaps I shall be able to, be able to overpower them and drive them out. And God said to Balaam, you shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people for they are blessed. And they came to Balaam and say to him, Thus said Balak the son of Zippor, Please let nothing hinder you from coming to me, for I will certainly honor you greatly, and I will do whatever you say to me. Therefore, please come, curse these people for me. Then Balaam answered and said to the servants of Balak, Though Balak were to give me his house full of silver and gold, I could not go beyond the word of the Lord my God to do less or more. Now therefore, please you also stay here tonight, that I may know what more the Lord will say to me. Amen. May God help us. Hano hari nkuru, nshaka gukura michinu, chitwa kufumana, Naba nabi mana bemera gutanga umugisha naba nabi mana bemera kandi rimwe na rimwe tukawushyira hatariho tugatekereza ko abantu bafite umugisha wo kuduha kandi tuzi ku mugisha utangwa n'Imana uh, in this story i want to get from it lessons about uh, the things we believe about curses and blessings and people who have the blessings and who have the curses and yet as children of god we know that he who has blessing is god yes, praise be to jesus there is a man called balak 
abonye ba Israeli he saw the Israelites amenye inkuru zikuntu banyuze mu bamori and he knew how they had been through the land of Amorites agira ubwo and he was scared nkuko nawe nange hari ibintu dutabaza imana tukayibwira ati ntabara just like it happens to you and me and we go call upon God nkuko nako hari ibintu tureba bikadutera ubwo tukaba mana ngwino ntabare the same way there are things we look at and we are afraid and we ask God to come to our rescue baraki agiza ubwo so Balak was afraid nyamara no umwami wifitiye ingabo nyinshi and yet he's a king with a mighty army amaze kugira ubwoba and after that akabazi ko hari umugabo witwa Balamu he knew that there was a man called Balak yarazwi he was known yuko yavuga avugishijwe n'Imana and he would speak on behalf of God abantu benshi biga bibiliya bacanga ibyerekeye Balamu so many people who study the bible they are most of the time called Balam some call him a diviner ariko bene dat but Belong. when you read you find that he was a foreigner but who knew the god of israel who was calling upon Yahweh. he was calling upon Yahweh, the king of israel the god of israel even though he was a foreigner and we see that god has talked to him so now he said and he said Balaam, please call him for me ati icyo mushakaho niki he said one thing i want from him he said balam nzikuvumya vumika i know that whoever you curse is cursed no hayo mugisha arawubona and he who you bless is blessed niki tujye kwiga ha what are we going to learn here bene data beloved friends of god Balamu nubwo yakoranaga n'Imana. Even though Balam was working with God, yari limite. He was limited. Yashobaraga gukora ibyo uwiteka yavuze gusa. He could only do what God had commanded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndakomeje. I'm continuing. Bene data. Beloved. Iyi saha tugezemo. At this hour we are into. Ni bangahe twitirira umugisha wa Yesu. How many do we think they have the blessing of Christ and we we think it comes from them? How many people can you think that they hold the Jesus the blessing of Jesus? Even children of God. Especially us servants of God. And the blessing we give no one who does it uh, from whom does that blessing come from umugisha pastor afite gutanga no wandi the blessing that the pastor can give where is it coming from pastor atanga umugisha wandi who uh, who who is the hold of that blessing ndashaka kubabwira ndashaka kuvuga kuvuga ngo ngwino ndagusengera I tell you come I'll pray for you. Uziko ari byo ko kusengera umuntu akabohoka. You know that it's true you pray for someone they are delivered. Uziko abana b'Imana basengera abantu bakabohoka. You know that children of God they pray for people and they Ako deliver. Akonyo shobara guhindura umuntu iki Imana itamuhinda. But you cannot make someone into something that God didn't make them into. Kuki mbabwiye ibi? Why do I say this? Balam, Balam, bamuhindu idorari. They made him something very expensive. Na waraz. And he came. Kandi barangije bagura umutima we. And they but they, they they bribed his heart this thing is so common in the church of christ sorry to be vuge ho sorry let us talk about that should we talk about that church? god doesn't want you to keep running after someone expecting a blessing that's where I'm heading to. It is so much clear. This lesson is Balamu very clear. Balamu was a man of God. But he had nothing on his own, something that he didn't receive from God. But now let us learn what Balak has done. Balamu Balaam Balak knew that there are things that Balaam had done there are curses he had spoken and blessings and it came to pass but he didn't know that it was because of God's will Balaam as a person he had no power to create anything the blessing we have that we give is a blessing from God he was so desperate he said come I will give you whatever you desire so whatever your price is I'm ready to pay today we saw people becoming slaves of other people just for the sake of blessing church are we together 
nta mugishurenze ibyo ufite muri Kristo you know there is no blessing bigger than what you have in Christ Jesus I'm not so interested in the story of Balaam and Balak. I know that many are following us online. In Africa, we have something. Something that doesn't make us believe that God is enough for us. At the end, it becomes like slavery. We have to become someone's slave. Okay, uh, you might not thank God, but I know you will do at the end. Beloved, even your parent, thank them. Honor them. But you can't honor your parent to the point of becoming their slave. Once the Son of God sets you free, you'll be free indeed. The blessing that the man of God has the blessing that us, the people of God, have it's not a store we have for distribution. No, no, uh, to the point children of God are always they are so afraid that the servant of God might curse them you know, actually servants of God are not allowed to curse even if they curse it's not going to work yes it's the truth even if you might not accept it why should servant of God curse you when God has not cursed you beloved let us talk the truth let us read the Bible and and let us get to know the word of God why should the servant of God actually it's a problem in itself if there is a servant of God who curses people he said oh but I'm calm and if you curse these people they will be cursed it's very easy to think that those are the stories of the Old Testament it's very easy to think that those are the stories stories of all probably in Omega you might not have that I tell you the truth but I would like to tell you but there are children of God who might be so careful uh, cautious for the servant of God not to curse them oh yeah no the blessing the Lord gives bring wealth and he doesn't add any sorrow to it the blessings we have are from Jesus Christ Jesus is the one who gives you a blessing you know the servant of God can confirm what God has placed in you but they don't have anything on their own to give you the servant of God your fellow uh, believer they advise you and you pray together and you seek God's light for certain issues but they don't have anything on their own to give you beloved when the son of God sets you free you'll be free indeed Jesus is the one who sets us free so now Balak he told Balaam I'll give you whatever price you ask but that thing you have that secret you have just come and make that formula for me but he had none of it on his own and the Lord made him ashamed. And God told him, Balaam, whatever you have to give is from me and that's all. I want to emphasize on the blessing you have in Christ. I'm emphasizing on the wealth you have in Christ. Follow the word of God. Pray through the word of God. And honor the word of God. But no one on this earth should just terrify you because they are holding something for you. Hallelujah. 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 Loved, hallelujah.
ibiguzi abonye atabyemeye baracyarabyongera when he saw that he didn't accept the price he raised the price bivuga iki what does that mean uje satani adashaka kukurekura you know when the devil doesn't want to let you go araguhonga he will try to uh, corrupt you in Nindu many ways yosom. who knows that lesson eh agapandisha nyine and he will raise things akakuzamura and he raises you akakuzamura he raises you agahenge ku mutima wawe kurushaho and he bends your heart even more to the point that you can't see that he's corrupting you but the blessing the lord gives it brings wealth and he doesn't add any sorrow to it i want to go fast forward one thing i wanted to there are so many stories so three times he tried to uh, ask Balam he insisted on for on Balam's heart Benedat beloved mbabwira ikintu can i tell you something buriya ushobora kuza hano gushaka ubujyanama you know you might come here for counseling ukanababara kuko wenda usanze naragiye mu rugendo and you feel bad because probably that time i have traveled utariko mu nigiye nashake pastori and you say all the time i looked for pastor kuva yafatindege since the day she got on the plane wagira ngo najyanye umugisha you th- you think that i took her blessing or his blessing away ni munyemere mbibabwi but let me tell you this along with kuko hari igihe mutekereza ko twibitse ho byinshi you know sometimes you think that we have so much in store kandi hano hari abakozi b'Imana umunsi ku munsi and yet here there are servants of God who can talk to you day after day and you'll be set free are you listening I'm telling the truth and it is in the word of God you know uh, except if it is something a secret but even your brother you can talk to them but I want to tell you you know even as servants of God don't turn us into Balam. It's true we have some responsibilities as as and there is a blessing of pastoring that they have. But don't think that for your things to be unlocked it, it requires just one person. This is from the word of God. So these things beloved you know uh, it, it makes us puffed up as servants of God and we forget that we live with Christ and we forget that the anointing we have and all the gifts we have we have it from God and we convince the believers that if they don't come to us they are not going to live and yet they live because there is someone who wanted them to live you know the great blessing that you have Jesus Christ. is Jesus the blessing you have that I can't take away from you but I can just take care of it shepherd it and work together it's just Jesus and the Holy Spirit that is in you Hallelujah. That's what I believe. And it is written here in the Bible. Now you will find that. Because of the way the children of God has grown how they, were taught, they think that only one person is the holder of the and that person has left there on the plane. They have left on the plane. And that person took their blessing on the plane. Did that person really take their blessing on the plane? No, when the Son of God sets you free, you'll be free indeed. Benedat. Beloved. The things that are reality today that might make us look so big as servants of God so so important. and we want to be bigger or more than what God has given us and yet it is Christ who enables us in everything now for that reason whether it is your brother or a pastor or pastors or servants of God or evangelists 
Let us not consider us more than what God made us to be. What the servants of God give to you is the way that is written in the Bible. Is the advice according to who you are and the journey you are into but they shouldn't always put a stamp on everything yes it can be done for, uh, but that's what I want to teach you about Balaam beloved Balak said hurry up I will increase my price but it's you I need God told him if you knew that where he wants you to go I don't want you to go there the prophet uh, the pastor bishops they work under the anointing of God and they are led by the spirit of God when we allow him we release the blessing we man of God. Yes, Ashimi. Praise be to Jesus. The blessing of God. But it's not something that says we always have that blessing. It's not like an automatic distribution saying whatever happens, the blessing is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let me talk about prophets. A prophet he doesn't create a better life for you uh, yeah, now that I'm talking about prophets you are responding because there are so many you need to get the revelation that the prophet doesn't create anything he doesn't create anything that's why the Bible tells you to examine when you're being taught even this is prophecy when the son of God sets us free we'll be free indeed yes, praise be to Jesus Genzura. examine Genzura. examine Genzura. examine the things of God they are examined and the Holy Spirit will speak to you Genzura. it is examined Balaam he had nothing to create on uh, his own. today they are Balaam who just received the prize of people, who accept the prize and they say place me on this high hill and I will find it. let us move and go plead with our God on this side oh why he's not doing it let us turn him this side but Balaam he doesn't have anything for you only what God has given you now try to seek what God has given you build yourself up on what God has given you yes, praise be to Jesus amen, amen. Now, the things I talked about, uh, like looking for servant uh, probably you don't know that here. But I've been to many places. Benedat. Beloved. Benedat. Beloved. Beloved. There are things I have seen in life. I mentioned it some time back. You know, uh, looking for servanthood for someone, someone becoming like an object or a tool in the house of the servant of God, not because you want it, but because you're expecting that it's going to attract God's favor. Do you know that? Do you know that it happens? No, when the Son of God sets us free, we'll be free indeed. Serve the servants of God. I am also a servant of God. I'm a of God I'm a servant of God too. I'm a servant of God. Serve God's people, God's servants. Do good to the man and woman of God. Because don't take it the wrong way. 
Because like now there are things I have that have been given by someone. It's not that I say that you shouldn't give anything to the servants no, of God. No, support them. Do good to them. Because they toil for you. They labor for you. But do it with the revelation. Do it with the revelation. In your heart. Do it knowing that you're serving God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it for God. The first year of service, I saw that. Being busy around the servant of God. Because people have been taught that if he curses them, then that's their end. Do you know that teaching? Do you know that people think that the servants of God can curse? Oh, yeah. Don't worry, if they curse you, it's not going to happen. If you have received blessing in Christ, no. When the Son of God sets us free, we'll be free. In now, all those things, they appear to be right. They have an appearance of truth and it's leading, driving many people, but it's wrong. As we talk about the blessing of God, let us know that we have the blessing in Christ. But keep your way, mind your way. Do you know one person who can take the blessing? from you? It's yourself. Indeed. We should emphasize on that. The enemy who can take the blessing is you. The day you won't be standing in this world. The day you won't be honoring God. The day you have no fear of God. Your blessing can disappear. Or it can even be delayed. But a human being. A human being. A mere human being. Mortal human being. They can't refuse uh, to ha- you to have what God has given you. I wish you can believe that. I wish you can believe that. Yes, probably you don't see it here, so that's one of the reasons you don't understand. That. But beloved, it is common. Balam, Balam, they have attracted so many. Because they think if he says this, it's going to take place. If he refuses me, this, I'm not going to have it. It's not true. And the Lord prevented Balaam. He said those people can't be cursed. No, don't curse them because I have blessed them. You cannot curse them. Jesus became a curse for you and me. So receive it and accept it. Jesus is enough and he was cursed for us. So that the blessing of Abraham might be ours as well. And that was accomplished fulfilled in Christ. And you're blessed. Even though you might not have money. Even though you might not have fields. But you're wealthy. Praise be to Jesus. Now let us talk about the curse. No, the curse. Uh, those words. No, they speak you. You. Oh, it is the time you have to talk about that. Because we are talking about that topic. Let us talk about the reality of today. Long ago, before you got saved, did you uh, believe those things, those sensations you have? Say, I have a sensation here. Sometimes. Say, I'm going to cry. And you will cry indeed. <laughs> Hello. You cry. You say, I woke up on the wrong foot. <laughs> which is the wrong foot and which is the right? Kamoso. <laughs> 
walking, uh, waking up on the left foot that's a problem that's what people used to believe let me take it further and tell you other things because if the son of God sets us through you say that one his mother she has hold her breast there is an old woman she understands me says she has hold her breast and then she cursed that person you know so many so, so while you were on your way walking a, a mouse just crossed your your path. Let us tell, tell those who are following us online in, Africa, Africa, Rwanda, in a country called Rwanda. So I'm in Kigali City. These things are talking about means. people in Africa, they know that. They can relate to this. We believe in such things. There are ways we believe in such things. You say walking with so and so is a curse. How do you get involved in that? But Christ has become a curse for us. So those things long ago when you still belong to the devil if you accepted it that's your business but now you've been set free from that. They will say, oh, that person is Do you know why that person is like that? You know, since long ago in their family, they say that they, are, they will amount to nothing. But you know, there is a servant of God who told us recently something. A bad word is replaced by a good word. If they have, sp they have spoken wrong words against you, in Christ Jesus you have been redeemed. Let me tell you. You know that everything happens according to your faith. You know, I used to believe in those sensations. Now, because I cry easily, you know, a person who cries easily, they always have sensations. Everywhere. And because the devil knows that you have cried by the end of the day, your muscles will always be uh, making some funny moves. And today I have understood that the doctor says it is a deficiency of magnesium. And when you don't have magnesium, then uh, you have muscles moving and sometimes uh, with your eyes, and then you say trouble happening. Today, the person is going to touch me, and you just look at them from that perspective, and you say they want to make me cry. I know. The Bible say that those are old wives' tales. That is old wives' tales. That what the Bible says. Uh, I want to tell you. The Bible says that Jesus is the priest of what we believe and confess. And the devil is also a priest. He goes after those things you believe in that are bad and he makes it come to pass. Now when you know that there is an evil word that has been spoken about you from your family, when you know that there might be a curse on you, speak the blood of Jesus on your life believe that believe that Jesus I know that this has been spoken I know that this has happened and today I am in you so there is no room for such things in my life when the sun sets you free, you'll be free indeed. I still have many things to say. But all those things, it happens, it works because we accept it. Three times Balaam tried to curse. 
It didn't work. Just take it with you. Clap to Jesus. It didn't work. Jesus said whatever defiles is not what is coming from outside. What defiles is what is coming from you. Now you need to be careful about who you are. What is in you. The word of God tells us that we even drink deadly things and they won't harm us. Why do I tell you this? Because if today you're still standing it's not because there are no more witch doctors have you seen them it's not because they are no longer there the witch doctors it's not because the devil is happy with you it is because there is an exchange that has taken place with Jesus in heaven Jesus did good Jesus did did great and he protects he accompanies and his blood is on us oh hallelujah praise be to Jesus you need to believe in the things Jesus has said the old wives tells and the teachings of the demons all that is going to delay you but when the son of God sets you free you'll be free indeed praise be to Jesus we're coming to the end uh, uh, 23 numbers 5 and 8 only it is a word that is written and then we pray Balaam he tried everything I don't want to say how his heart was bent it's not my intention today I don't want to talk about his obedience I don't want to talk about the donkey that had to block his way it's not what I want to talk about the hardness of his heart is not what I want to talk about today I want to talk about blessing and curse Balaam knew that he was going to do something but God told him there is nothing you can do if I don't allow there is nothing the devil can do to you if God didn't allow I will just read in Kinyarwanda those words that he Mm-hmm. clap for Jesus how shall I curse who God has not cursed no one can curse you the blood of Jesus is on you no one can curse you you received blessing in Christ even though you don't see it with your eyes but there is a blessing you have and you carry it with you I used to at some point I was at a place they were praying for someone and I heard someone getting the revelation and he prayed for the sick person and the demons that he said uh, whenever we want to attack this home we see a fire around this home and we can't enter that's the day I understood I got the revelation that there is a fire of God that is always surrounding us there is a pillar of fire that is accompanying us it's not because the devil loves us it is the love of God the Father who has and has given us a great inheritance in Jesus Christ that is long ago it's like 25 years ago he said we couldn't enter because the fire was surrounding that house and the fire is brought by the blood of Jesus in the morning say I'm in Christ and nothing is going to happen to me and he say nothing will happen to me if you don't allow it say help me to be a blessing help me to receive your blessing and to pass on your blessing instead of accepting the old woman's tales praise be to Jesus verse 8 verse 8 
Yes, Ashimwe. Do so many makunya na gata tu chumi nichele makunya. Let us also read verse nineteen and twenty. Ima na sumu nunguweish. Hallelujah. We all know that scripture. Eh, 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 eh. Even the new ones in the salvation they Hallelujah. know. It. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is not a man that he should lie. You know it's true. God doesn't lie. He's not a man. So that he should lie. If so you have to say, no go cura niza Hallelujah. When God has commanded blessing, and in Jesus you have received the blessing, and today He says that job is for so and so. He might say, "Oh, that lady, you're all after her, but she belongs to this and this." I like it when they are edified. Yes, it is true. Yes, fight for her, but she belongs to so and so. When God has commanded blessing for you, no one can take it. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. I wish today, one day, we might give a testimony about that. People come and talk about the tenders they are and God says that tender is for so and so and it ends up like that God doesn't lie and the blessing he has given us in Christ is really tangible we have a blessing in Christ Jesus you live because of Christ and you walk because of Christ and you're still standing because of Christ and you speak because of Christ and where you are today except if you have delayed yourself if you have delayed yourself we are going to pray if you don't obey God we are going to pray about that but the enemy of your blessing is yourself it's not a human being there is no human being there is no single human being and even if the person will be there they will have to deal with God yes yes they have to deal with God because no one can refuse you your blessing no one can take it from you yes, praise be to Jesus and no one can curse you who can dare curse you who can dare to curse you who can be bold enough to curse you where can they get the permission to do that it's not possible it's not possible you are a powerful person he has commanded when he says he's going to bless you who can prevent there is another song that says if Jesus says yes yes, no one can say no 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 one can say no please clap for Jesus I'm going to ask you as we come to the end you know, all things start with the great blessing that is Jesus Christ there is no curse on those who are in Christ and whatever trouble comes to you kneel and ask God the Father and he's going to tell you things that you're going to sort out but the blessing you have in Christ no one can hinder it no one can take your blessing in Christ who wants Jesus as his Lord and Savior who wants to open their lives for Christ to enter God bless you the greatest blessing is Christ come and receive him who else wants to surrender their lives to Christ Jesus is the one who holds all our blessings he's the one who has the storage of our blessings he's the one who has the storage of our blessings and and Balaam doesn't have a storage of their blessing, the blessing. and the powerful ones they don't have they know the custodians the names of this world however big they can be they cannot give you what Jesus has not given you only this person yes
A round of applause to the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the start. This is the beginning of the blessing. This is the beginning of the blessing. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. Go to that pastor. He's going to lead you. He's going to lead you in a prayer. And the rest of you, you're going to stand. We're going to sing this song together. Say, count your blessings. Count your blessings. Them, them one by one. They're going to sing just two. Uh, two and we're going to think about that. Last Sunday, we learned that you have but the greatest blessing is found in Christ Jesus. Learn to be grateful like David. Be thankful for all the blessings you have in Christ And God is going to bring down all the rest. And he's going to bring it in its time. Those who curse you, if you know some of them, and if they have lived, just change it. Don't accept that Except if you're not in Christ Jesus. But if you're in Christ Jesus, look for the reason why you have hardship, but you're not cursed in the name of Jesus. Jesus has become a curse for us. Praise be to Jesus. Let us sing that song and I'm going to pray for you.
Let's your hand on your heart and we're going to pray. Let us thank God for all the good things he has done for us. And enjoy having Jesus. Be grateful that he lives in you. Let us pray. Let us pray. Utwerek inzira dukwiriye kunyura ukuraho ibinyoma twemeye mu buzima bwacu ukabica inege ukanabirandura bikava muri twe mu izina rya Yesu no uyu munsi ndagushimiye ndagushimiye cyo twigishije kumuvumo kuvumwa gutongerwa amagambo mabi aya tuvuzweho uyu munsi twibukije ko ibyo byo se warabifashe ujya ku musaraba uhinduka ikivume mu mwanya wacu uyu munsi turabanya mugisha muri wowe Yesu Kristo umugisha ukomeye twarawusingiriye muri wowe icyari kiruhije kwa rukubona o Yesu shimu mwami wanje shimu icyari kiruhije no kugira Yesu turibuka ko wadutaruye turagufite ndetse kubwisha Ijambo rya uranyemeza ngo watanze umugisha watanze umugisha wo kuza muri twe uduha ubugingo ndetse bwinshi cyane Mwami Yesu uyu munsi cyo mwene data nange tutarabona tuzakibona niba waratukidupangiye iki tarafatika cyose muri Yesu Kristo kirahari niba warakiduteganirije Mwami wanje ndagushimira ko twakubonye ndagushimira ko tugufite Uyu munsi birashoboka ko harurira birashoboka ko hari uhangayitse nko kwindirimbo imaze kutubwira umugenderere umugenderere umuremeshe umubwire ngo kuki wiganyira ntirirarenga ntirirarenga ntegereza mwami wanje tanga kwihangana mu buryo bwose mu bibazo byose byugarije bene data tanga kwihangana tanga kwihangana tanga kwihangana tanga gutegereza tanga kwishimira mwami Yesu Kristo imirimo myiza wakoze yose Dawidi yatwibukije imirimo myiza ukora mu buzima bwacu mwami dushobaze gushima ikintu cyose kiza dufite uyu munsi duhishimwe ku minwa ryacu duhe guhindukira turebe mwami ku buyu munsi harabari kwa muganga barwaye tutariyo Kubo ya munsi tubasha kuvugura urimi rukagobodoka tubigushi. Kubo ya munsi funguro rya nijoro riri buboneke nubwira ya saa sita rya urana byo tubigushi. Mwami reka tugushimire ibishoboka. Ibidashoboka nabyo bizaza. Mwami wanje mana yanje. Ndakwinginga ngo wowe wenyine utubohore. Bohora mwene data kubinyoma mu izina rya Yesu. Wara tubwiye ngo umwana w'Imana wubwe naza katubohora nta wundi muntu uzadusubiza mu bubato. Mu izina rya Yesu Kristo ndavuze ngo bene data babohoke. Bamenye ngo nabanya mugisha. Ufite Yesu afite umugisha. Ndetse nibyo atarabona zabibona. Kandi aratunza aratunganiwe kuko afite umuntu ukomeye umwami w'abana. Mwami shimwe. Mana ndasengera urwaye. Ufite aho ababara. Ufite icyabura gifatika cyose. Mwizina rya Yesu uyu munsi uhure nicyo kibazo ni we wenyine ufungura ntagira ukinga wakinga ntagira ukingura mwami nta baramu ufite kuduha uyu munsi nta babaramu bafite kuduha we waraduhaye mbere hose urakoze cyane urakoze mwana umugisha utanguza no bukire nta mwabaro wongera icyo bahiro ni kuzo bibi byawo gendera buri muntu wese reka mwami ubu buzima bwe kuzibagirana tunabyigisha abandi ngo muvu mukomeye bakwiriye gutinya no kutakugira no kutakugira mwami imana ishobora byose reka nsengere no muntu ushobora kuba yibuza umugisha mwami twabonye ko umuntu umushaka kutubuza umugisha ni twebwe yo tudashaka kukumvira bidushira kure yawe bidushira hirya yawe bituvana mu nzira y'umugisha mwami imana dufashe twumve ibyo tubwira ni namu tugira kandi twumve tugendere mu byuhamya bidushoboze ni dusenga ni kuzamura amaboko mwami utwumva uri mwijuru udusubiza dusenze twizeye mwami kandi tugushima mu izina rya Yesu mpera Yesu amashyi
May the Lord bless you. Have a good Sunday. Oh, yeah.